when did things maybe dawn on you here in Southern California that your time with the Rams was coming to an end? When might that have dawned on you, Jared Goff? Um, you know, it, it, it's funny because I, I try so much to, to not talk about this, and then I'm so you know, bored and thinking about the future. But t- to be honest, it was I, I had I had no um, I had no inclination of it. It, it came somewhat from left field um, when it happened. But again, it, things happen for a reason. I'm excited to be out here. Everything's been great. Um, I had a lot of fun there. Like I, like I spoke about early on after the trade, a lot of good moments, a lot of good times, and, and it's it's in the rearview mirror at this point. No, and I know you're you're a page turner and things of that nature. Um, is there anything that occurred during the playoffs that gave you an indication that things were coming to no. an end? None at all. No, and I and again, Rich, I, I appreciate you. I know you have to ask the questions. Yes. But I'm I'm so excited to be here, man. I it, it, I had a lot of fun there. There was a lot of good times. Obviously, it ended sour, and um, I think to answer your overall question, no, there was not any inclination um, that anything like that was coming. But again, it, it's it's what happens, and um, I'm happy to be here. Okay, I appreciate you giving me that second bite to the apple, Jared. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> so am I. So uh, now, now then, uh, a, a new start in in a new division in a new world. For you, what, well, how how do you go about, um, you know, computing all of that and living it every single day, Jared? Um, yeah, it's it's a transition, just like anything else. I think anytime you 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 play professional sports, you're you're available to have to have a transition like this. And I think um, it's something I've embraced, something I've really enjoyed. Like I mentioned, Michigan's been fun, Detroit's been awesome. Um, the people here in this building have been a lot of fun to be around and, and it's really been a breath of fresh air for me. It's been a, it's been a really new energy feeling and, um, something that's been really exciting. And, uh, tell me about, uh, your running back Deandre Swift. Um, again, you were in, uh, Los Angeles last year. He had, uh, an interesting season, somewhat injury marred, but then also flashes of exactly what the lions have been looking for at this position. What about this Georgia bulldog from your eyes? Now that you're, you're right there on the ground. Jared. Yeah, he's been he's been a lot of fun to be around. He's he's a great player, great great athlete. Obviously, can make all the plays you want. I think seeing him every day on the field has been fun to fun for me to be around. And and you know, you, I, I saw him from afar, but I didn't I didn't know much about him until I got here. Kid works hard. Kid does his job, and and is a hell of an athlete and a hell of a player. And I know we'll rely on him heavily this year. Okay, and Hawkinson as well. He's a pretty big target, and uh, yeah. he's also yeah. shown some flashes to say the least. At that position, yeah, he's a great player. He's obviously had some great success already, and um, I hope we can keep building on it. I know he's a, he's a guy that will feature a lot, I'm sure, and um, has done a great job up to this point. Again, everyone's everyone's been great. It's been a lot of fun, you know, learning new teammates, you know, finding out about their interests and about their lives, and and, and at the same time getting worked on on the field. Okay, and then you know, you're you're I'm sure all of course aware of the Lions' history and how uh, everybody wants to page turn there as well, along with you. How do you view your role? in creating a culture, a new culture there. What uh, the coach has told you about what he wants your role to be on that front, Jared Goff? Yeah, I mean, just first and foremost, I'm the quarterback. So, you know, with that comes the leadership position. And um, obviously there is a there is a culture shift that, that we are working on and trying to trying to put, you know, one foot after another. And every day it's, it's something else. And it's a lot of hard work that takes place in order to do that. But um, I, I'm not naive to it. I've, I've, I've seen it done at Cal. It was something similar with the Rams and um, – Having that ex- those experiences to draw on, I think, does help for me personally. But ultimately, just just be the best I can be every day. Be the best teammate, leader, person I can be every day, and um, be consistent. And what do you think it's going to be like October twenty fourth when you're back in that building, Jared Goff? For you? Oh man, I don't know. I'm, I, we, who we play before that? We got about six games before that, I believe. Right? Oh, I've actually got the schedule right here up in front. You play uh, the Cincinnati Bengals right in front of them, and the Minnesota yeah, then Vikings. We, well, I, all we're worried about right now, Rich, is that Are you taking it one game at a time with me right now, Jared? Is are. that what you're doing? We are. Unfortunately, that's going to be your answer. Though. We're <laughs> taking it one game at a time. This is a problem interviewing a Cal Berkeley guy sometimes. You know what I mean? Like you think you're 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 one step ahead of me, Jared. That's a problem. But I'm a Michigan man, so that I also know the boots on the ground there for you as well, and how fans are. You know, they're 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 and, and, and genuine. Genuinely, I, we've got a lot of work to do before we get to week seven or whatever, week eight. I'm not sure what game it is, but. Um, Genuinely, there's a lot of work to do before that, and, and obviously we're focused on the offseason. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.